What's good, family? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to modulate samples in your MPC. Now, what do you mean by modulate samples? That's basically taking like a wave file, uh, 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 not a wave file, a waveform, like a sine wave, a saw wave, a triangle wave, square, noise wave, um, and using that to manipulate pitch, uh, filter, amplitude, or even panning. All right? So let's begin. All right, so I have a empty project. I'm just going to load any sample in. I mean, you can use it on a whole track, but I'm just going to use it on a sample. All right? So I'm just pick anything. Let's go to some boom bap stuff. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Um, I forget what has what. Let's just uh, let me see if they have any. Oh, that might be it. Hold on. I can use that too. I can use that too. Okay. All right. So any one of these long samples will do. So. I like that sample right there. So what I'm going to do is make sure I hit P. So I'm on the pencil tool. Uh, click here where, where the sample is lit up. Exp extend the sample um, here and just hit play real quick. You hear how it sounds, right? Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to program edit. So right, right now we're in the main mode, track mode, track view, program edit, right? Boom. You're going to come down here. You're going to scroll to the right. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling to about here. Line this right up here. Down here is your modulation section. So right now, I have a sine wave uh, with a 2 hertz rate, uh, but I have nothing synced right now. Now, I can use this... Uh, sine wave to modulate pitch filter uh amplitude or panning so let's start with uh we'll do a few demonstrations here a few different demonstrations so you can see the effect of each one now before you go any further before i go any further make sure you're wearing a good pair of headphones a really good pair of headphones or you're listening through a good pair of monitor speakers uh, if you need one of the speakers, you can check down in the description. There's an affiliate link that you can go and get the same speakers I have, Yamaha HS8s. They're great. Um, and I'll leave a link down there for headphones, too, if you need some. Um, but, yeah, make sure you got a good pair of headphones, good speakers. And wait, wait, wait a second for you to put them on. Cool. All right. So right now I have a sine wave, right? What we're going to do is come over here where it says sync. And we're going to sync to, let's say, uh, let's start with a half note. And let's raise the pitch up to, let's start 10. You hear that? It's modulating to that sine wave. Now I could change the rate at which it modulates. Actually, the rate, I believe, only works. The rate on right. The rate only works when the sync is off. Sync will take over the rate. You can control the rate here. But this has to be set to none. Now you hear how it wobbles less. If you bring it up, it'll wobble more. All 
All right, so now let's sync it. Let's let's use some of the sync options, and we'll start with uh, half note. Let's change the sine wave to triangle wave. That's sample and hold. Let's try a saw wave. Let's move the sync up to eighth notes. Let's go back to sample and hold. Let's try saw down. So square wave. So you get the point with the pitch. Now let's let's move the pitch up a little bit more. That's a real extreme. That's the highest you can go is the 127. Let's try the saw wave at a higher pitch rate. That's noise. This is just a good way that you could, you know, you could kind of flip samples around and make them your own. Here's square. All right. All right, so let's leave this around 25%. Or 25, not percent, but 25. This is all MIDI data. Let's, let's move up the filter now. Extend this all the way out. There we go. Now let's bring this up to 16th notes. All right, let's do some. Uh, let's do 16th triplets. See how it sounds. And let's take the pitch all the way off. Now we're gonna we're just gonna hear the filter now. All right, so listen to the filter. Let's turn it all the way up so you can hear the difference. And here we go. Go back to sine wave. Ooh, okay. Let's go to whole notes. Two whole notes. Let's mess with the amplitude now. So you can hear the amplitude better. Change it down a little bit. So there's a quarter, we are at quarter notes now. Let's do triangle wave. And this is how you modulate your samples. Real simple. 
Now, I'm going to do the last one, which is panning. Let's turn this up to about 62. Turn the panning up. Now you should hear a good effect on your headphones going back and forth. Another kind of way you could do an auto pan instead of using an effect, you know what I mean? Now let's just get crazy, put everything up. Bring the pitch down a little bit. Bring up the filter, bring up the amp. Quarter note. Noise. All right, and that's how you modulate a sample. Just make sure you, you know, go to program edit, <clears throat> look for where it says this filter section, then come down here where it says LFO. All right, these are different LFOs. Stands for low frequency oscillators. And you can use these to trigger, uh, to modulate pitch, filter, amplitude, and panning. Please comment, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell for when I bring out new videos you'll be the first to get notified, all right? Uh, also, if it's your first time here, make sure you click the uh, first link in the description. It is a free drum kit for you if it's your first time. Uh, that's my thanks for you watching the whole video. If you've been here before, make sure you go subscribe to Loop Cloud today and get your first, uh, get your free 30-day trial and see if you like it, man. It's over 4 million sounds and loops all fire pretty much all different genres and uh yeah great for inspiration if you need like uh if you suffer from a lot of uh beat blocks this is probably what you need to um overcome that all right so um yeah check out loop cloud also if you want to see what i'm using in my studio check out the amazon links below they g <laughs> Check out the links below. Uh, they are all Amazon links. They are my affiliate links. So if you buy from those, I will get a kickback from Amazon. That will help me support the channel and help me put out more videos on a daily basis and pump out more high quality content for you guys. All right. Hope you like the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeastfulLyricist.com. Music production tips, how to modulate samples in your MPC software, and I'm out. Peace.